what is up youtube knife community back again how you guys doing today today we're going to be talking about some spotty rats in particular we've got a six pack of spotty rats the spotty rat six pack i think is what i'm going to call this video not sure yet you'll see it in the thumbnail if it is or not so uh we'll get right into it um <clears throat> there's six knives for four different people and uh first up is my good buddy ben from over at blade banker if you guys aren't already following him go follow him awesome guy great members of the community puts out some kick-ass videos i mean it's just awesome knives awesome content good guy there's it's a no-brainer to not to go check him out i mean he's just an awesome dude right here is his instagram name at blade banker and his youtube name is blade banker so these first two are for him and first up he sent me two knives of his own uh and one of them was black so i can't do much with the scales but i did have a set of scales that uh a set of od green scales that i tried to dye navy blue and I use them, so in certain lights, there's a, a hint of navy blue, but pretty much they're black. So uh, that's just kind of how it works with uh, certain colors. It doesn't take the dye job real good, but uh, it's still a good-looking knife. I still love it. Uh, the clip is stonewashed. The liner, or acid etched and stonewashed. The liners are acid etched and stonewashed. Uh the barrel spacers it's kind of hard to get it on video but the barrel spacers are heat anode and yeah they come out to be different colors i'll explain some of that here in a little bit but the blade come out spectacular on this one and this one is an os 8 you can still kind of see the logo right there yeah and you can kind of see the writing it's something else i want to talk about here in just a few minutes but uh this is ben's first one blade banker sorry uh, just for giggles, I'll show you guys that it's, that it's pretty sharp. So, uh, so yeah, it's sharp. So there's Ben's first knife. And then, uh, his second one that he sent was also an OS 8. And, uh, it happened to have dark brown scales. And I tried to dye racing red. And we come up with like a burgundy color. It still looks good. Still love it. But uh, the blade looks excellent. Again, acid etched and stonewashed the liners. Heat anode the barrel spacers. Acid etched stonewashed the clip. Resharpen the blade. All that good stuff. And this one kind of drops shut a little bit. It's uh, a little bit smoother than the other one. And... Uh, guys these things it takes you a little bit of practice to spidey flick i'm not gonna make an idiot out of myself they open real easy with the thumb but to spidey flick it you gotta i can't do it behind the camera and you gotta actually practice at it a little bit but it after you get the hang of it it's pretty easy but uh yeah that's his second knife right there uh came out nice i i really like it uh certain lights it does look a reddish color and certain lights it looks burgundy but uh as I said, I'm happy with it. And next up, this knife here is for uh, this guy right here. Uh, Gents10251 on Instagram. Uh, he reached out and uh, he sent his knife in and it was a D2 version. And it had the, uh, the tan colored scales. So they die really well. And uh, he wanted the racing red. So... That's what he got. Uh, they actually came out a pretty red color. Uh, again, acid etch, stonewash the clip, acid etch, stonewash the blade, and uh, the barrel spacers have been heat anode. These things look totally different in light too. Like when you got them face to face, the the barrel spacers just don't come through on camera the way I see them. But they are what they are. They look good. This one dropped shut. Uh, it's got great action there's a spidey flick see it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it but um it came out smoking love it and uh just for giggles again i'll show you how sharp it is well if i can get around this camera here 
pretty sharp but uh as i said that's gents knife come out really good love it uh next up this guy reached out and wanted me to purchase a knife and mod it for him and uh this is his instagram name tmc15117 xx so this one's for him it's a d2 knife and uh he saw the blue one that I did for Paul at Knife Slicers, and he wanted his blue, so uh, that's what he got. And, man, this blue comes out awesome on those uh, light tan scales. And the barrel spacers have been heat anode. Same same treatment, same stonewash acid etch on the blade and the clip and the liners and all that good stuff. The blade come out smoking hot, looks good. It kind of drops. And these things will work in a little bit better as you use them. They're still pretty much brand new, you know, most of them. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, get the hang of all that as you uh, carry it a little bit. But they're sweet. That one turned out real good. I'm very happy with all of them, really. Um, next up is a good buddy of mine. Uh, if you guys don't know who Rick Cairns is, go check him out. I don't think he's into collecting followers and all that good stuff, but uh, if you can get to know him, man, Rick is an awesome guy. Rick, I know you'll be watching this video, and I just want to say, brother, thank you for everything you do, man. Uh, I was sick not long ago, and Rick checked on me periodically, and uh, he genuinely cares. So uh, Rick's a badass dude, and uh, I wish nothing but the best for him. But that's his Instagram name right there, Rick Cairns and uh rick uh both of your knives are red as you know and uh one of them's d2 and one of them's os8 so um when i send these to you i'm gonna put a, a run of blue tape around the handle that says d2 or os8 but this is rick's first knife and this one is in d2 and he wanted racing red on both of his uh the blade come out spectacular everything's just done up nice like the other ones acid etch stone washed everything barrel spacers heat anode same nine yards everything's the same and uh i'll show you how sharp it is oh, yeah this camera really throws me off there it is very sharp very sharp knife but yeah it came out smoking hot love it love the red and that's thanks to gear toward gear for the uh the red everybody's wanting that since they seen his knife uh so here's uh rick's second knife and this one is an os8 and again the blade just come out spectacular the uh scales died perfect the stone washing acid edge took good on the clip the liners and then uh the barrel spacers look good too so uh yeah all that all that being said uh just want to go over a few things as you can see them laying there these three knives right here all had the same exact colored scales well this one too but it's a totally different color so we won't even talk about it but if you look right there right now you can see that the scales are a little bit different and if you flip them over it's the same thing they're they look just a little bit different you might not pick up good on camera but in, if you got them in your hand you can see it so uh what I want to talk about real quick is uh, I don't think that all these rats are created equal. Actually, I know they're not. Um, I think it depends on what batch they come out of and who knows what else. I mean, you, you really have no idea. But uh, the at, when you're acid etching and stone washing stuff, you can tell the difference that the materials are different. Say... Uh, you know one clip takes 25 minutes or whatever to completely acid etch and one clip takes 45 minutes so i'm just i'm saying that that the materials on the clips are probably different from batch to batch uh and then when you get to the uh the scales as i said it's it's pretty clear let me get bring these two up right here as i'm looking at them it's pretty clear that uh the one on the left is a little bit darker than the one on the right. And I think it has to do with uh, just 
just the different material that they're using from batch to batch. I think, uh, you know, one material is going to die a little different than the other. So it's just a little bit different. And then on the construction, I know they do a diff different, use different materials here and there because out of these six knives right here, I know these two that, that are for Ben are older knives. Uh, this one was sent to me, so I'm not sure when it was bought. These three right here, I purchased myself and uh, did the mods on after after I was paid for the work. So uh, even between these three that I bought at the same time, there's differences in the construction. Rat will use uh, some, some barrel spacers that are D-shaped and the liners are D-shaped to match. And some of them have little ribs in them where you got to actually force them down into the liners. And then some of them don't have either of those. They're just smooth uh, barrel spacers. You know, each side's smaller than the barrel and it just slides into the liners. So, so they're none of them, or not none of them, but a lot of them are created differently. Uh, they use different materials. They use different standoffs. They use different uh, scale material and all that good stuff. So uh, that's one good thing. It's, I mean, it, it's a good thing in one way and in another way, it's a bad thing. Uh, the way it's good is every one of these knives turn out to be a one-off because uh, every one of them looks a little bit different if you got them in your hand and you're looking at them. I'm sure right now looking at these, they all pretty much look the same. But in the hand, inspecting them closely, working on them, you can tell a big difference. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to get at. You'll, you'll see some variants in the knives. And just like with Rick, he's going to have two knives that are colored the same and all that but when he puts them in his hands he'll be able to tell that uh that there's some little variance in them it the the barrel spacers will heat anode different from uh, knife to knife some of them you have to hold right on the heat and it takes a long time for them to change colors some of them almost as soon as you touch the heat they'll change colors some of them will take blues and some of them will take purples and some of them will will only go to bronze and then uh some of them you'll try to get up to blue and then they'll turn back stainless looking i mean it's just they're just totally different <laughs> so that's all i got on that i just wanted to, to put that out there it's kind of like a full full disclosure thing if you're getting two of them they're gonna look different and uh if you if you can pick it up in video they some of them look different too and that's the reasons why because everything's done one at a time, hands on. I mean, it's it's not in a factory, so they're all going to be a little different. Okay, so so I got that out of the way. Um, now I want to talk about price, just in case, because uh, some people, you know, they'll hit me up and uh, I'll tell them the price, and they'll be like, "Well, I get back to you." And then some people are jumping right on it; they're ready to pay, and blah blah blah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that out here in this video, what my prices are. So. Uh, if somebody checks it out, they can hit me up. And this is as of when I'm recording this. It could change at any time. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, price of the bits that I use could go up. Uh, anything. Anything like that can happen. So, uh, if I provide the knife and do all the mods, I charge $110 shipped. Um, and then... You send me your knife, I charge $75 shipped, and that 110 is either either or, OS8 or D2, but I highly suggest that you use OS8 because it does have better edge retention. In my testing, it has better edge retention. So, um, with all that being said, now the way, uh, I want to talk about a little bit about my process real quick, and then we'll cut out of here. So, what I do when I first get them is of course i disassemble the knife completely and uh i'll show you this right here i keep all my parts in these altoids tins i put tape on there so i can keep up with which which uh washers go with which knives and all the same hardware goes right back to the same knife that way if the tolerances are a little bit different uh then i've got the same hardware to go back so uh whatever comes on the knife will be what's on that knife so um so i keep all that stuff together and don't and don't get don't get them mixed up and then once it's disassembled then i i acid etch the liners i stonewash the liners i acid etch the blade i stonewash the blade and 
and then uh i gotta take these clips and i gotta strip the dlc off of them so uh, i do that and then i sand them a little bit and then i acid etch them and stonewash them and then uh i'll resharpen your blade and then let's see i'll heat anode the barrel spacers and then it's right back to putting everything back together after I dye the scales. Got to dye the scales first, too, if you want them dyed. So um, with each knife, I've got about four hours in each knife. And then shipping, I've got, of course, eight bucks. Priority shipping is what it costs. So, And then the knife, I'm averaging, thir saying average, $35 per knife, oscillator, or D2, or whichever. 35 is a happy medium. So I just price all of them is 35 bucks if i buy them now you can buy it and send it to me or however you want to do it it doesn't matter but if you want them done that's the price 110 shipped if i provide the knife 75 if you provide the knife and as i said i got about four hours into them and then i gotta ship them back so uh and then oh yeah the bits that i use to cut these holes uh cost me ten dollars a piece and i get on average one to one and a half holes per bit so uh each knife the bits are costing me say 10 bucks right at 10 bucks so uh so i got 10 dollars in bits i got eight dollars in shipping i've got 35 dollars in the knife and then i've got four hours in each knife so y'all do the math it's not much profit i enjoy doing it and uh i'll continue to do it for those of you who want them so um that's all i've got thank you guys for staying tuned in for the spotty rat six pack video uh thanks for liking thanks for subbing leave me a comment down there let me know what you think about these mods and if you want one hit me up on instagram uh let me write that down real quick so i can show you it that way let's see so here's my instagram name it's at bj.heel.7. If, uh, if you want one of these, that's the best place to hit me up. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, thank y'all so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.